On this video I'm going to show you how to factory reset a Megapoints controller's servo controller. If you've been playing with the board and adjusting the outputs to become more familiar with it, a factory reset will return it to its original state of how we shipped it to you. A reset will set the board back to master mode and return the network address back to 2. This procedure is also useful if the board is behaving in an unexpected manner and it's one of the first things we ask you to do when you're calling us for assistance. Don't forget, each 12 channel servo controller requires a regulated 12 volt power supply with a minimum of 2 amps. Therefore, if you're running 3 servo controllers, you'll require a minimum of 6 amps. Let's begin by ensuring the board is connected to a power source. This is our demonstration board from our exhibition, so the power source is built in. Make sure the buttons are in easy reach and the LEDs are visible to you. Begin by turning the power off and waiting for a few seconds. Firmly hold down both middle buttons and apply power. As soon as you see a light flash, let go of the buttons and check the right flashes for about five seconds. Let me run through that again. Hold down both middle buttons and turn the power on. See the light flash? If it doesn't flash for a minimum of five seconds, you haven't performed a factory reset. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.